Hey guys, I am so excited about the video today. I just wanted to do a quick intro, excuse my voice, I am sick. Uh, my friend Emma was nice enough to film for us. She filmed a bunch, so this is going to be a couple videos, maybe in two or three, but I wanted to get part one out for you. It's a house tour of her fiance's family home in Guaymate, which is about 25 minutes away from La Romana. And I am just so grateful that she took the time to film so much for us because it really shows an authentic look into how many Dominicans live. And I did wanna do an intro just to say that I like to show all sides of the Dominican Republic. You've seen me do house and apartment tours for very expensive high-end homes that I wouldn't even buy to um, maybe lower income, more affordable homes. I just really love to show you guys how all different types of people are living, locals, expats, everyone. Um, and it's totally like a personal preference how many expats decide to live. But Emma has really just adapted to the Dominican culture and way of life amazingly. And she just has such a cool outlook and she really appreciates it. And I don't know, I just love her attitude and everything. So, and I'm just really grateful that she took the time to show us a peek inside of um, how many Dominicans live and spend every day. So um, comment below any questions that you have, myself or Emma will answer them and then stay tuned for the next videos because I'll show you her new house that they built and then a and she shows us into the Baites, which is how very many Dominicans and Haitians live as well. Hello, good morning. My name is Emma. This is my fiance, Alberto. Hi. We are living in Guaymate, Dominican Republic. I am from Salem, Massachusetts originally. Um, I moved here to Guaymate about six months ago. Moved here in February. Um, Alberto grew up here in Guaymate and we started building a house here last September, so almost a year ago. So we're currently living in our new house now. We just moved in like about two months ago. But before that, <laughs> Before that, we were living in um, his family's house. So today, I'm gonna show you our house, his family's house, all of Guaymate, and we live near the um, Bates. So I'm gonna show you in there as well, show you the life that they have there and how it might differ from what normal American expats live. So yeah, enjoy. So this blue house here is Alberto's family's house. This is where we started living when I first moved here. All of this is his family's property and we built our house right next to their house. So that's our new house here. We're still finishing up, but that's why like the top of it isn't completely finished and there's still sand in front. Um, but we're going to show you inside our family's house first. So here we go. So we do live on the main street here so we are like there's a few streets here that have like an actual street and the rest of the streets here are like mainly all made out of like dirt and rock so we are here on the main street so it does get really loud here um but yeah it's nice because everyone passes this way so we never really have to go anywhere everyone always comes to us and here is the front entrance of the house. Normally we have like chairs here um, that we can sit outside. It's really hot today. And this is the living room. Here we have the chairs and the dining room table. We normally have so many people in here. Alberto does have a very big family. So there's always a ton of people in the house. <laughs> Over here we have Alberto's mom and dad's bedroom and we have the kitchen right here so this is where all of the magic happens all of the really good food right now they're cooking lunch what are they cooking i don't know like white rice white no, rice so. oh. this is like we call more it's like like gondola with, with rice and steak beef beef okay yeah. <laughs> it smells really good so that's what they're cooking here we have the sink here okay so now we are in the we're at the bathroom so here in guaymate um you know it's not like the normal typical like american household with like the shower running water so we have somewhat running water for 
like the toilet I mean the toilet doesn't flush on its own you do have to like fill a bucket with water and dump it down the toilet in order for it to flush and then showering here you do fill up like a big bucket of water and you shower from that so you have like a smaller bucket you fill it with water you dump it on you and you wash yourself um, so I'm just gonna show you like what our bathroom looks like everyone here has like different bathrooms you'll even see in like our new house we have like a more Americanized bathroom but this is how most of the Dominicans here live so I'll show you that now so here this is like a big bucket that we fill the water with um, when the light goes the light and electricity does go a lot when that goes the water also goes so everyone here always keeps like a water reserve just in case it's pretty dark in here but there is water in there and then basically what you do is you'd fill up like just dump it in fill up water like this and then you dump it on you we have other buckets this isn't one that like we shower with there's other ones um it's actually super refreshing because it's so hot here and the water's always cold we never have any hot water unless you boil it on the stove but this is pretty much what the bathroom looks like we have a toilet so you can flush it yes um but we just fill up all these buckets with water just in case the water goes we do have a hose that has running water that we have like in the bathroom we use it to wash the clothes and everything so we do have running water um it's just a little bit different so when we lived here this was our room here so but right now his brother um their wife his wife and their baby are living here now so this is the room this was like one of the biggest rooms so we were really lucky when we had this room this is a little window here we never really used it too much but um with his brother living in here now they use it all the time so you have the bed we had it set up a little bit differently here but you know the house the walls are made out of wood and the the ceiling or the roof is made out of metal um so when it rains sometimes it does get kind of wet um that's why we have like bags up here um so that's just like part of living here you know it's completely fine it's not uncomfortable at all i loved living here this like this is what feels like home and also when you do sleep here um because there's not like actual enclosed walls we do have like they call it mosquitero so you basically hang it from the ceiling you put it over your bed you tuck it underneath your bed and that way the mosquitoes don't eat you at night when you're asleep because they are pretty violent <laughs> And then we do have a door that leads right to our big backyard. So his family does have a ton of land here. Um, it's so beautiful. It's a lot cooler back here than it is like in the front of the house. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we have our dogs over here. We have two pit bulls. Um, our cat, our stray cat, Lily. She has babies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the back of the family's house this is the back of our house we haven't finished like painting it or anything because we are having a baby so we're adding on another room to our house um so we're not going to finish the back of it quite yet but we do have all of this space for more land once we finish our house we are going to be working on his family's house and building them a better house that way they don't have to live in the house that they're currently living in because it is super hard to live like that um when the electricity is constantly going and it rains here a lot and it does get really wet inside the house it's just not always so comfortable for his family and we don't want to be the only ones living so comfortable another thing about here is we don't have any garbage um like a garbage service so we don't have a ton of garbage here um but when we do we normally just pile it up and his mom like lights it on fire i know that's not safe for the environment like at all but we don't actually like accrue so much garbage um but that's what they do i don't really know how it's like like what it's like in the rest of the country but that's kind of just what everyone does here that's kind of just the normal um if we were able to get like a garbage service i think that that would be great but i don't know how that works in here is alberto's brother's old bedroom through this door um but since he's living in our old room now this is his dad's like dentist 
office because he is a dentist um so he's working out of there as a dentist a lot of people come to him he's so great um there's also an extra bed in there and then we have another room in the house that has another bed because alberto does have I believe it's six brothers and one sister, so he has a ton of family. When we were living in the house, there was six, seven, there was eight of us living in the house all together. So there was a ton of people, and plus all of his brothers and sisters coming um, when they were on vacation from their work, they would come and stay with us. So sometimes the house was very crowded. We did just build a driveway here. Um, basically, all that we had to do was like lay down concrete and sand, mix it with water, <laughs> and we built the driveway um, because we just bought a car. So now we have a driveway for our car. We don't have to worry about it being on the busy street. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much, Emma. Stay tuned for the next parts. They're super interesting and comment any questions you have. And make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. New video every week and I will see you guys soon.